I've opened Microsoft Word and activated the Smooth Docs ribbon. From the Correspondence menu, I will choose New Letter, and the Smooth Docs Letter dialog box opens. I have filled in one person's name. If this letter is just going to that person, I can move on. But let's say that this one is going to a couple different people. I can choose Add, and then complete the next person's information. I can either complete it or pull it out of my CRM, which is typically Outlook. Now I have completed a second recipient for the letter. I can just leave this here. The macro will pick them both up, or I could click Add if I wanted to, in which case it moves it over to this list. We will say that there are no copies or blind copies of this letter, but I will come down to the Dear line. Looking at the Ray line now, we've set this up to do something a little bit unique for this particular client. They have two types of letters they write, ones to other clients or ones to attorneys. And the Ray line information changes depending on which type of person it is. We've set this up to memorize the different reference numbers they type in so that when they fill in the reference number and leave that field, it will fill the Ray line in with whatever information was last used for that type of Ray line for that reference number. On the second page of the letter, we're ready to choose confidentiality phrases, delivery phrases, fill in the author, etc. All the information that you're seeing here comes out of a database so that the firm has the ability to change it. And the letter will remember which author I last wrote a letter to and what closing phrase they use. I can either pick one from the list or I could type something in. This particular client also has multiple offices, so it will pull those out of the database and it will match them up with their name. So if I switch the name to somebody who's in a different office, it switches the office back for that person. Having filled everything out, I'll choose Create with Draft Stamp so you can see that. I'm going to choose OK. And we are now in our letter, Created with the Draft Stamp. Let me turn Show Hide off because that makes the screen look a little bit busy. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit of text in this. So you can see how that looks. Now, when we created this letter, it left room at the top because they have their pre-printed letterhead from the print shop. But maybe down the road, they decide they're going to email this letter to someone instead of printing it on the paper. Once we're in a letter, there is a letter menu where they can make some changes to delivery phrases or to change the letterhead. And I will just pick one for their San Diego office. And there's the letterhead. Now their letter is formatted and off it goes. Looking at this letter, we can also create envelopes for it. You can see there are two people this letter is going to. I'm just going to grab both of those, go back to my Smooth Docs tab, and let's create envelopes for them. Because those names are selected, they get pulled into the envelope. If I have a reason to add a confidentiality delivery phrase, I can. I can choose from a couple different envelope sizes. If I want to include some initials or maybe a matter number, in case the letter comes back, I'll know who to route it to with the initials. Or if we have a billing department that looks at cases and wants to bill for things as they leave the mail room, that might be why I would put a file number. Uh, reformat proposal regs will change all this to all caps, and I could also choose to include the return address if I want to. Uh, in this case, I really don't, though, because my envelopes are pre-printed with the return address. I could choose print, and it would just print the envelopes, but I will create them so that you can actually see them open as a document. And there they are. Down here in the lower left is where the attorney initials file number went.